Hello and welcome back to my channel. Subscribe for monthly wrap ups of what I've read. Month in a minute, which is a really fast wrap up of what I've been doing in the month and so many more things. Today I am doing my what I read in August, my August wrap up. There are three books. Can you tell it's been the summer holidays? Haven't got much read. I'm gonna start with the one that I read first and that was Nick Hornby's Funny Girl. And I really, really enjoyed this book. It's not necessarily the kind of book I would normally read. It's set in the 1960s with a girl from Blackpool who wants to be a comedian. She wants to make people laugh. She is funny, but it's about trying to break into that business which is ridiculously hard to break into and how she goes about it, whether or not she does achieve it. It's a really nice read. There are lots of friendships, lots of relationships, not so many twists and turns, but it's kind of more an insight into that era and how people behave towards women, possibly still. And it was just really interesting. It was a really good read, a really nice, easy read, but one which really stuck with me. Definitely recommend this. The second book I read is Perfect by Rachel Joyce. This is a really lovely book. I bought it based on an Instagram recommendation, I think, because I'm that fickle when it comes to books. So I bought it based on someone else saying, yeah, go buy it, it's a really nice book. It's a really enjoyable book. There are so many twists and turns. It follows the story of two boys who are best friends and how things happen throughout their lives which has impacted on them in the future and you're following their lives in the past and in the present and it's a really engaging book it's not confusing it's really nice to follow unlike some i've mentioned in previous videos it's got a storyline that you want to know more about you want to know more about the characters it covers mental health it goes deeply into class and it's just really intriguing how Rachel Joyce has kind of done that in such a way that makes you want to read more. So it's a very engaging book. It makes you think without like making you think too much, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It's a very good book and I would definitely, definitely recommend you go and read this because it's one of those that really gripped me from quite early on. The third and final book I read is Stephen Fry's The Liar. I bought this at a charity shop before I went to soft play with my daughter because I knew I would have like an hour where I could sit and read while she played. And I thought I would enjoy it. From the blurb on the back, I thought I would enjoy it. And I have enjoyed bits of it, but I found it quite hard to get into. It's a bit rude, but it's not rude in like an offensive way. I didn't find it offensive. But I just found some of it unnecessary, if that makes sense. It might well be a true depiction of what boys' schools are like. I've never been to one, so I couldn't possibly comment. Um, but yeah, I just had, ended up feeling a bit mm, about it. It's very well written. It's clearly written, you know, Stephen Fry is a very clever, intelligent man, and he writes incredibly well. But I wonder if maybe he writes a little too eloquently for me. That's not to say that I don't like to read intelligent books, but sometimes I feel you don't need that much intelligence. You know, some books you really do need it and it's wonderful to read such kind of fluidity and language and I just found that this sort of felt like it was doing it for show, to be like, oh look, I can write lots of long words. Um, that's not a Stephen Fry impression. <laughs> um, I don't know, I really love Stephen Fry. I wanted to love the book and I've enjoyed it, but I haven't loved it. There we go. That's it, those are the three books I've read this month. I've read one already this month, which I literally sat down yesterday afternoon and was like, oh, I'll, I'll start this today because I've got a little bit of time tomorrow and I basically read it all yesterday. It was that good. So I'm looking forward to telling you about that next month. And I'm just about to start on my second book, but then I started well last month and it just all fizzled out. So let's hope that I can keep it up this month. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to, please subscribe. Also, please let me know what you've been reading this month and let me know if you enjoy these kind of videos, what you'd like to see more. I want this to be far more of an interactive channel than it currently is. I don't just want to like shove videos in your face. I want to 
be able to interact with you and find out what your interests are, what you want to see from me, all of that kind of stuff. I will see you again soon. All right, bye.